Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a seven scrappy ladies project life page. Sorry, that was a, a mouthful. So for this month we are working with the mood board that you just saw and what I am taking away from that is the colors and the just the summeriness of them, I guess. Um, so I am actually scrapbooking spring break for my kids. So it's not really summery, but that's what I'm scrapbooking today. <laughs> um, so first off here, I'm doing these two photos of my youngest, Tinian. And we had gone to Taco Bell for lunch because the kids had the week off and we thought that might be kind of fun so he was just being really cute drinking his drink and I also wanted to record that he's wearing his swim trunks and his swim shirt that day and it was March and he had his snow boots on too so I just thought that was hilarious that he was wearing his swimming trunks and snow boots <laughs> in March just funny. And I thought these two photos were cute. So I am stamping on there with some citrus twist stamps. Now those stamps came in my kits last summer. And then I stamped the date on the photo on the right. And here I'm just doing some simple journaling. And I am actually only going to be doing one page for today. I just didn't have enough time this week to do two pages. Okay, so I looked up on Facebook. That's what I was doing on my phone. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I was writing uh, the right thing, and um, so I just looked up the post on, on Facebook that I did. Here I'm going to add some sequins to the, I think just that photo on the right. I'm going to add it. And then that the photo on the bottom is going to actually be my title card for this page and it is just going to basically say spring break and that is it oh I think I do add a couple sequins to that left photo you gotta add sequins right and these are Spiegel mom scraps and it's jaded hearts I believe is the, the collection that's one of her newer newer releases and I'm sorry if you can hear my computer it's working really hard on something I don't know what it's <laughs> working hard on so here I just pulled out some 4 by 6 cards that I keep on my desk and I really like this one with the heart but I'm gonna end up going with this plain white one and it does have a little bit of um, diagonal stripes on the bottom so I'm gonna put this other 3x4 card behind it just to kind of add a couple more layers and then I'm gonna put the photo down and I want the title to be big but at the same time I wanted it to be smaller so I'm just off to the side looking for some embellishments and some stickers and an alpha to go with it so here I pull out these I think these are from Dear Lizzie and this one just says odds and ends. And then I was hoping that this school sheet, it's a sticker sheet that I got. I was hoping that it would say something about spring break, but it didn't, which was really weird. So I'm going to end up pulling out a bunch of different alphas until I decide on... <laughs> I haven't pulled it out. This one. So I'm going to go with this one. It's just going to say spring break and that's pretty much it that I'm going to do with this card. I kept it really simple, but I wanted the title to be big because that's the main focus of this layout is that, or this uh, project life spread is that it is spring break and I totally messed up and ripped off the wrong part for this N. I had to turn the W into an N. So it looks kind of backwards, but I'm just going to roll with it and it's going to work. And here I'm going to have to make a letter K because I don't have a K. That's one thing I hate about alphas like this. They only give you one alpha or one of the letters for, let's see, it looks like 
X, Y, Z, W, V, U, Q, K, L, J, like all of those that aren't vowels, they only get one letter and it, it's kind of annoying. Okay, so now here you can see I have the title all written down. I stamped the date that I took that photo and I was going to do some journaling um, just about like, you know, everyday cleaning or, you know, say something like that. But in the end, I decide it, I don't really need it. I mean, obviously I'm doing everyday cleaning. So I'm just going to add some sequins here in two different places. And then this, this card is done. Make sure that you head on over to the other ladies' channels. I will have links below, and I apologize. I am late in posting this. This week has been crazy. <laughs> okay, so now I am moving on to this card, and this one is just going to be really simple. I have this stamp from that Citrus Twist um, stamp set, and it just says, Say It Isn't So. And I just thought that was perfect. So on, we're watching TV on one of our new favorite TV shows. What's it called? Oh, now I, The Mick, I think is what it's called. Um, and I thought it was hilarious. So the kid on the left in the photo is one of the main characters. And then he's like searching for something. And then it pans to this... Um, like this ad in the grocery store because he was in a grocery store and it says, oh no, what does it say? Hold on, I'm going to grab my layout. Okay, so it says, don't get trumped and trumped is spelt with a capital T by higher prices. And I just thought that was so funny. It was really funny. Um, so I am going to just... Um, I was thinking about ha having my words spell out TV show goodness or TV show awesomeness or something like that, but I didn't have any E's with this alpha, so I decided to go with TV show quips, and I am running out of T's and O's, so I have to make a T and an O with these two, um, pens because, um, the... Let's see, I think that, that one that I have in my hand right now doesn't really work. It doesn't write very well. I need to get a different white pen. I just haven't yet, so it's on my list. Okay, and I'm sorry, I'm just like sitting here. That's where I was like trying to figure out which word I want to use, so I decided to go with quips. I don't even know if that's a word. Is that a word? Please tell me it's a word, because I decided to use it. So that one is done. I'm going to keep that one super simple. So now I'm just going to move on to this, um, this weather card and I'm going to stamp the date March 21st, but I kind of mess up on the 2017. So I had to wipe it off and then since it was wet, it didn't want to stamp again. And so I'm going to keep trying and it kind of works, but not really. <laughs> So I'm just going to set that aside and that one's done. Next, I'm going to do these two photos. And this is a picture of Brennan playing with his friend Gideon. And Tinian is out there with them too. So the kids had, let's see, I think, so they had spring break from Monday through Friday. And then obviously the weekends. So starting on Wednesday, they each had friends come over. So I decided to call or to put um, Gideon Day as the little journaling or title for this little card because um, that's Brennan's friend that was able to come over that day. So I am just um, writing that out and then I'm going to stamp I Like Us with um, one of those stamps. And then I'm going to make a little tab at the top. And there I decided to pull out another stamp. And that one says good friends. But I wanted to kind of embellish this card a little bit more. So I cut off 
this cute little noteworthy card and I'm going to stamp in my black ink, good friends, and then also the date, which was March 22nd. And I accidentally had it on March 12th. So here I'm going to stamp it and then I'm like, ah, so I was going to re-stamp it, but then I decide to just uh, write over top of it. Now I'm going to add some sequins and then that card is done. And I am actually going to just move on to these two cards. I decided not to do anything with that card that had the pictures of the guns. Okay, so here you can see that I am trying to figure out exactly how I want to do these three cards. So this this one to the left of the photo of me, I knew I wanted it to say um, spring break hair, I don't care because I just thought that was funny. I should have just had it say spring break hair, don't care because that would have been cuter. I don't know. So I'm just using this alpha and this alpha is an old, old, old one I got from Studio Calco and that would have come in one of their kits when I was subscribed to their kits and that was way back in like 2014 I think that I subscribed to their kits. So that was quite a while ago and then here I'm going to use a lowercase i for an exclamation mark. Now I am going to stamp good crazy all over the this card. So wherever there is space, I'm just going to stamp good crazy. And so I do, I stamp with the full color and then I do kind of like a little ghosting. That's what Adele called it. So I'm going to call it that. Um, a ghost stamp so that it's not the full ink on there. And I really like how that turns out. This card is just kind of crazy, which fits with my hair, right? It was kind of a crazy morning. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh my gosh, my hair looks crazy. And that's just me sitting in my craft room, probably getting ready to craft or edit a video or something. So those two are done. Now I'm going to move on to this card about, oh, I did forget to stamp the date. So I'm going to stamp the date in a couple different places, which is March 23rd. And I'm kind of doing the same effect where I'm doing the full, full ink and then I'm doing the ghosting image, ink, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now here I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this, this uh, photo of Max. So I finally decide that I like this card that says, yes, you. So I'm going to cut it down to three by four. And then I'm going to, to cut the image of Max way, 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 way down. And then I am going to um, put this card stock. And this is a, a cute little paper pad that I got from Target probably probably sorry I can't talk probably about five years ago I think and it's still in my stash so I thought it would be kind of fun to use it up here I'm just journaling it says Max loves to play with his tire toy and then I'm gonna put just a few of these sequins down and that is it for this layout. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will have links down below to all of the other videos that the ladies have done. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again next time. Bye! Okay.